Hello there! On this video I'm going to help you to set up your own Earthward server. And it's not as hard as you may think. First of all, you need to follow this first step, that is creating a new folder. You can create it here on the desktop, you can create it anywhere you want on your computer. I prefer to go here to my computer and to the local disk. Okay, I'm gonna uh, create it here because it's a smaller directory line to write uh, in a bit. I'm gonna explain you that. Well, uh, on this new folder, you may want to change it to any name you want, okay? But I prefer to just write word for server, so everything I have about my server is gonna be here, so I won't forget what this folder is about, of course. Makes sense, okay? I'm just gonna leave it open. Now, open your browser and write Steam CMD on Google and click on the first link, okay? This will lead you to Valve Software. A legit a site and now after this just uh, scroll down a bit and mostly of you must be uh, Windows users and all Windows users must click on this link to download the zip file and if you're not a Windows user if you're using another operating system you may want to scroll down a bit more and follow the, the steps that explain here for getting the file okay and um, now what you have to do, I already downloaded this before, but you want to go to the folder where it was downloaded. Okay, don't open it yet. Okay, for a default, this uh, file went here to my downloads uh, folder. And what I like to do is to cut it and uh, transfer it and paste it to my outward server file, uh, folder, I mean. So now double click over it and it will appear here. This and now double click again over the Steam CMDX file. And now run it. And this will check for eventually available updates that Steam may have. I don't know, but everything is okay now. Now do the following thing, okay? And now you need to write these things I'm gonna tell you. So uh, everything that you need to set up your server, every single uh, file will be downloaded and updated through this uh, Steam CMD command line, okay? So first of all, force install dir and now space. And now you need to write the directory where your folder, your hardware server folder is. On this case, it's these directories, so I'm just gonna click here, and this is what I need to write on the command line. You just can simply copy this and paste it here. Okay, it's not gonna work the right click or control more V that is for paste things, it won't work. Okay, it will only appear this, so you need to write it manually. So that's why I choose this location because it's easier to write. Okay. It's shorter, a shorter directory. So, the um, C hard world server, and then enter. Okay, it needs to be the name of your folder, of course. And it seems that nothing happened, but it really did. Now, second thing, login anonymous, and this will connect you to the sim public anonymously. Okay, then and. It takes a few seconds, a really few seconds. Everything is okay. Now, last but not least, app uh, update. And now, space and write this number 405100. And then, space again and validate. And then, you might want to type enter, press enter. And then, this will be the thing that will download every file you need from Earthworld to run your server, okay? It will actually download some of the files that you already have on your Earthworld uh, directory on Steam. If you go to your program files uh, slash Steam, Steam apps and the game folder, Earthworld folder, you will see uh, mostly of the files there that you just downloaded through this this uh, program, okay? But 
this is needed. And now let's close this. It takes a while. Everything is fine now. And just choose yes if this uh, WinRare file appears. Yes. And this uh, will be placed here. These are all the, the things needed to run the Steam CMD.x application. Okay, but you can always like drag them or just extract like, them here to the hardware server folder, but it's not needed. Just leave it here and don't delete this file, okay? And uh, now go back to the local disk. This thing, this new hardware uh, folder appears here. It should be appearing here on my folder for hardware uh, server, but it didn't. So it looks like this, okay? Some of these items, like the earth world itself, applica application is here, okay? So it downloaded a few things. I like to drag this to my earth world server folder so everything will be together here and earth world. And now, as you can see, there's this uh, batch file, it is the host that dot pad that you need to open with notepad, okay? So right click over it and edit. By default, it will appear these code lines this code line. So what you want to do here is giving a name to your server if you want of course. You can leave it here like this. It's not an obligation but I prefer to change the name of course. Jester's um, test server for example. And just leave it like this. And now uh, add this and add admin code. Add admin sorry um, add admin all together and now a space okay and now what you have to place here is your steam id steam 64 id or your steam community id that is a number it's the code number for your steam name or your steam profile this will turn you into the admin of your own server which makes sense for you of course and it's quite useful for you to be your own admin for your server and there can be only one admin how can i get that a code number of my steam id to place here go to your browser again and now we don't need this anymore and go to some sites like this one to find your steam id steamid.co.uk or just steamid.co and here where it says enter your input just enter your steam name or your steam short link to your profile okay and now press enter or just click here and it appears my profile info some of the info if i have backbends or not and what you want from here is your steam 64 id as i said before is this long number and if you go here to the different site and uh, just write here a name, I already have here our sim name, and search for it, it will appear as a community ID, okay? It's the same thing, the 64 and the community ID, it's the same thing. So you may want to copy this. Now you can close these things as well. And go back to your file, to the host file, and paste it, paste it here, okay? So this will turn into admin, okay? There are some more codes to place here. For example, if you want to add a mode to your server and then you need to add some stuff here. I have no idea. But this is the basic thing that you need to make your server running fine, okay? Now save the, the file and close it. And now go to here again to the same file to the host pad and right click and run it as administrator right after that what you need to do is to launch the game don't try to launch the game through this uh, server folder because it will appear a black screen and you can just get into the game so i advise you to go launch the game through the shortcut you may have on your desktop for the game or even directly through steam okay so let's launch the game now Leave this uh, window open, okay? Okay, now that the game is open, for joining your own server, you may want to press F1. That will lead you to the in-game command line. 
and write this connect space and then 127.0.0.1 and you can always uh, add uh, then this and uh, the number of the host that is on the hostpad file but it's not necessary I just leave it like this and it usually works for me and now press enter and if you done everything well there will be no errors while trying to join your server I don't know for how long this will going to be this way to open your own dedicated server but for now it's the way I found to create it and I already got into my server and no lag no one to be here and it's a great server to it's a great place to test your stuff and I think you are able to invite your uh, friends to join your server I guess probably they can join you through through your steam by the that feature to join the same server you are in I'm not sure how that works but this is how it works for having your own dedicated server at least now by pressing F1 you will invoke the game console where you can type any of the comments, any of the codes that admins have right to uh, type. That is uh, many things like uh, spawning items, there are codes for spawning items for uh, change the time of the day, freeze the time of the day and a few more things. And I'm going to show you some sites where you can have access to the list of the comments you can type here on the command in game command window so you can uh, do things that another uh, server admin may do as well I close the game and back to the browser I have here three sites open with the pages where they have the list of comments that you can type as an admin on the um, game console okay so I usually use more here this one from you was pro it doesn't have the complete list of codes but there's the codes that I usually only use that are the codes to give items or uh, to spawn items or to freeze the time of the day on my server and there's also this one from wikia that um, may have a few more codes than the previous one and this one from for from get wrecked forums if you scroll down through this post you will see this one in game comments this has been up for a while i don't know if every of them will work but i usually use more this one actually because it's more simple it's the same thing it includes here the same things but uh anyway i only use this one at the moment and the links for these um sites for these pages are on my video description below just click on the links to access directly to these uh pages without having to browse them for them on google and well i hope this guide helped you to opening your own server if you have any further question about this just drop me a comment here on this video page or uh, if i don't know how to reply to your question go ahead and go to reddit to hardware subreddit and post there your question because there may be many more people that understand better about hosting servers and all those things better than me okay thanks for watching bye bye uh, many other videos about reading bases on youtube so and i was not lucky you can try a few times and this what i'm